What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and in this video I'm going to be continuing my journey 200% at Overpower Level 8 with this Sniper Zero. So in the previous video I picked up the quest Walking the Dog, but it's one of the quests where if you save quit, then it fails. So we have to go all the way back to Tiny Tina and pick that up, which is unfortunate, um, but whatever. So, we'll go up there, it'll only take a moment, and then we'll spend the majority of this episode, I would imagine, in the Southern Raceway, doing the number of side quests that take place in there, as well as killing Motor Mama, so, it should be interesting. Okay, cool. Hopefully those guys don't find it necessary to kill my car. I would appreciate that. Hmm fucking phenomenal luckily they didn't put a um, <laughs> a catch a ride up here so you get to walk quite a ways if they blow up your vehicle which is fun neat so we'll keep on walking. I'm going to try to execute some grenade jumps because I just don't want to wait that long. I think I kicked the grenade there. That was interesting. Alright, so we're almost to the catcher ride, which is good. Alright, so now we're going to see Enrique, who is a ultimate badass fire skag type uh, pet for Tina. And he can be a big pain in the ass to lead around in a circle. Cool. So, I'm going to put my grenade on. He is a very affectionate puppy, so that's something we're going to want to watch out for. I want to try to kill as many of these dudes preemptive to opening um, Enrique's gate. But the interesting thing about that is that um, I think as soon as we open Enrique's gate, more dudes spawn. So that's something we're going to have to watch out for, perhaps. Luckily, if these guys get knocked off of the bike while the bike is slagged, they cannot be slagged. There's a guy with shock damage over time over there, so we're definitely going to have to uh, kill him somehow. But I think he's one of those guys that cannot be slagged. That's wonderful. Whatever. Okay, so like I said, once we open this, there will be some more dudes who spawn. Okay. So Enrique's coming. So we don't want Enrique to die. So perhaps we shouldn't bore those bikes to death right by him. But um, Enrique's fairly healthy. Okay, so Enrique's coming. He's hurt, but um, I think he regens health in Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, so that's good. If we can just get him to come this way, that'd be wonderful. Oh, God, he roasted that guy. And he's regen regenerating his health, so that's good. We'll just run to this next dot. We may eventually need to turn around and pop him one to keep him coming towards us. Looks like he's coming, though. So, once we get him inside this circle, then we can go to this circle. There will be some more guys spawning up here. We will look back, because Tina told us not to, but we also have to kill these guys. Oh, I'm dead. So, I don't want um, Enrique to kill my second wind here, so I had to uh, do that. Man, that fire damage over time is an absolute death sentence, which is one of the reasons why this quest is kind of stupid. That's okay. We're almost done with it. Alright. 
All right, so we're on the very last leg of this now. Luckily, unlike the death quest, they don't make us do this multiple times, so that's wonderful. We don't even have to do multiple laps. It's just one lap, so it's good to be done with this quest because this quest absolutely does suck. That's okay. So, now we'll return to Tina, and then we'll go to the Southern Raceway. Hopefully, the chuckleheads at the top of the hill do not feel the need to blow up my car this time. I think I killed a few of them, but I'm not certain what their respawn timer is, so they might be back. Hey, doesn't look like there are any of them here this time. So, that bodes very well. Because we have a lengthy drive to get over to the Southern Raceway after collecting our reward for the Walking the Dog quest, which is one of the worst weapons in the game, the Boom Puppy. So that's handy. Alright. Back to where we were going. The Southern Raceway. Neat. Now, the Southern Raceway can be pretty cool. I would say there are a few of the better quests in this DLC there. And there are a couple interesting fighting areas. So, that should work out well for us. Unfortunately, like the rest of the DLC, it does suffer from the amount of damage over time enemies that exist, but whatever. I guess I'll just start in this area up here since um, we have to clear out both of these areas anyway, and this will be one of our side quests. So might as well start here and then we'll work our way to Motor Mama as the finale. What we need to do in here is place a poster. It's part of the Everybody Wants to Be Wanted quest, and, you know, we're going to get ready for that. Okay, so... Um, this asshole has corrosive damage over time, and maybe some others do too. So, we need to, uh, be very, very wary of that. Oh, and it's a sniper too. That is super dangerous. Crap, more damage over time snipers, huh? I'm dead. Yep. Damn. Those damage over time snipers are just fucking terrible. Like a death sentence. That's okay. Oh, like I said, this DLC, when it came to combat, they couldn't think of anything better than endless uh, damage over time. Which, by all accounts, is a shitty way to do it, but that's what we've got. Dude, fuck you and your damage over time, sniper. Perfect. So we've almost cleared out enough to uh, safely go find where we need to place the poster. It's somewhere around here. There'll be some more dudes that spawn, obviously, as we traverse the different levels of this area. Okay. So where's the one with the fire gun? It's a pistol, huh? But it is a super badass. Okay.
So one of them got me slagged, which sucks. Jeez, this is a tough little area. And they just keep spawning dudes. More and more of them. Oh my god. Where are all they where are they all coming from? This is ridiculous. All right, we'll kill them all. Got to kill that guy right away. Next target's probably this guy. All right. The next target's absolutely fine ammo. Got a grenade. Got a bunch of grenades now, which is not what I need. I guess it's not unneeded, but it's not my most pressing need, that's for certain. Oh my god. Shock damage over time, huh? Jeez, that shock damage over time is ruthless. I kill a guy, I have Grim active, and it still takes all of my health away almost. Alright, finally turning the momentum here. That must be high up there or something. We'll go take the fight to him. Collect some ammo as we do it here. Probably going to be some more guys spawning right around here, I would imagine. At the very least, we can engage this enemy. Give him a warrior's death. He'd probably get lonely without all of his friends. Okay, so now we'll place this poster. Can you say lady boner? Got ambushed there, but we were finally able to work through it, so that was good stuff. We're on to the next area now, which uh, is going to contain another poster. And then we will also do the video game critic review in the next little finger of this little fork that we drove up. So that's good. Climb through the gate there. That was neat. All right, it was a long haul, but we finally made it. I think we can see very clearly where we need to place that next poster. It looks like Axton. So, we'll kill all of these dudes. that non-suicide psycho say kaboom baby because if he did i think that's a mishap i think that's a suicide psycho exclusive line that was funny i'm not usually one for military men but i got to say God damn it. Should have focused on the nearer enemies. It's okay. Keep pushing it here, see what's next. More guys up here. Uh-oh. Someone up there has a powerful weapon. Good 
We'll get these two guys coming down here, I guess. Alright. Now that we've weakened their ambush significantly, we'll go back up there and kill them. Guess that was our objective enemy. So we'll begin to head back and then we'll come back and we'll kill the rest of these guys because that's what Torg will want. Come on now. Perfect. All this violence was more pointless than the stealth sections of Triangle Quest 9. I'm taking breath. Kill them all. The stealth sections of Triangle Quest 9 were a great change of pace from the regular gameplay. Burn in hell, you bastards. I didn't realize they spawned so many more dudes, or I guess I had forgotten. But we'll kill them all. Are there any more dudes up here? Or are they all back there? I think they're all back there. So, I'll climb the stairs again, and then I'll kill them. And that'll be another quest completed, plus we have half of the Everybody Wants to Be Wanted quest done, basically, with two of the posters placed. So, working our way through these side quests. Obviously, we've already completed the Enrique quest as well, which is a rather irritating quest, so that's good to get that one done for certain. Jeez, they're just going to spawn them all right outside of that door. Whatever. What's next? This dude? Quit running. It's rude. Huh, apparently there's another still. Let's go search for it. We can turn the quest to that real quick, I guess. Oh, geez, there are a bunch more. I thought I was just up here, though. Finally. That's that. Those tasteless bastards are gone. Come on back whenever you're ready. <gasps> that is good. So, the next thing we need to do is go kill the monster truck and place another poster. Then we'll turn the gate power on, place yet another poster, and then we'll kill some rack, and then we'll kill Motor Mama. And that'll be good. This way is the way we need to go. Unfortunately, I am almost guaranteed that my car will be exploded. That's okay. Alright, so we've killed those things, which is good. Um, now, I'm trying to remember where the poster we place is. If I remember correctly, it's like right on this building. Huh. 
apparently not on this building. Hold on. Oh, yes it is. Somewhere. It's near. Ah, I walked right by it that many times. Oh well. Okay. Cool. That was neato. As was dying in deception. Combat in this DLC is truly a treat. Alright, so luckily there's a catch a ride right over here so that on our way out we can have a vehicle. Now for this next part, there is an area that is pretty damn large and we're going to need to work through it to turn on a power switch to fight Motor Mama and to place the last poster. The Zero poster, in fact. That they are, Torg. That they are. Not me, though. I have something to do. Try to keep the pace up against these guys if possible. They have a serious elevation changes though, which makes it difficult, but like I said, we're gonna try. I don't know why that guy's not trying to fight me. It's irritating me a little bit. So somewhere there's apparently a dude that needs to be shot in the face. But that's been accomplished, so that's good. Alright, so now we've cleared out the first half of this area. But the second half is where the zero poster needs to be applied to. So we'll get ready for that. Keep looking for these next enemies. That was a really good hiding spot that guy picked. It worked out extremely well for him. This is a better hiding spot. But not the best. Thought I was down to the last enemy, but they've started spawning more, so apparently there's still a few yet to kill. Alright. That they do. So now we've placed all of the Everybody Wants to Be Wanted posters. Which is excellent. Those vault hunters are serious badasses. But it don't matter. We'll kill you anyway. Right, guys? Right? You're all done. It would be nice if that quest actually made the bikers stop attacking you as you drove around the crater. But as far as I know, it doesn't actually do that. If that was an actual benefit of the quest, that would be pretty neat, I think. If your reputation, like if that gained you a reputation somehow to wear. If they didn't try to blow up your vehicle all the time, that would actually be a really handy quest to do.
Now we have a really dumb quest coming up right here. Alright, so long as they keep dropping uh, ammo, I guess that's a good thing. Come back here. Alright, it appears that I am critically low on ammo. So we're going to need to drive somewhere and buy a little bit more of that. I don't know where my vehicle's at, so... Oh, it's all this way. Catch a ride's closer, though. So we'll just hop to the catch a ride. Then we'll go back to the start of the map where there is a vending machine. And that'll be wonderful. Never mind, there's not a vending machine up here. And that was significantly less wonderful than I had anticipated. So, where are there vending machines in this map? Well, I know there's one right down here by Motor Mama, but it's not showing up on the thing. Hmm. What is that area? Oh, I, that was the area I was fighting in, I think. Okay. Interesting indeed. Well, we'll come back for the rack on the way out, perhaps. Careful. Motor Mama loves vehicles. That's what attracted her to me in the first place. Oh, did I mention we dated for a while? Had to break it off when she devoured one of my other girlfriends alive. Nobody so, friends but me. see if oh, either of these had ammo. Are. They didn't. That was in bad taste. Seriously, where's all the ammo at? Okay. So, really needed that ammo, and now I got it, so that is excellent. Now I can be a little bit more uh, <laughs> quick to spin my rounds, perhaps. Oh, I hate when the game spawns enemies behind you. If I could enter the rooms and clear them out, I would. But you don't give me that opportunity and then you don't spawn the enemies until I'm in front of them. I feel that that is a dirty trick. I'd rather have that than damage over time, though. The worst is when the two are combined. Okay, so now we've basically worked our way down to Motor Mama, and that's excellent. We'll get ready to kill her. Now, depending on what type of rocket launcher she spawns with, she can be a real bitch. Luckily, there's a couple areas that we can hide from her, so we'll get ready for that. Go ahead and throw on that, I guess. I could also sell some stuff right now. Sell that. That. All three of these. Cool.
cool. Okay. So, I want to make it over to this little ramp thing. Oh, I nearly forgot to mention. If you would like me to not eat you until after you were dead, I understand and respect your wishes. I will also completely ignore them. Instead of completely ignore, I think they should have gone with politely decline. One interesting thing about Motor Mama is that it seems they kind of just reskin the Ellie model and added a little bit to it to make her, but that's okay. It's also kind of disturbing to think that a cannibal could reach those levels of obesity because that would mean that she's probably eating, oh my gosh, um, some seriously ridiculous, um, some seriously ridiculous amounts of people. She had a slag rocket launcher. Are you kidding? Oh god, I don't know why I was doing that. I don't think she can shoot through this, so I think I'm good. Damn straight. All right, so now we just got to run on out of here, making sure to stop at, you can definitely tell that this was going to be a raid boss too. That's why there are all the ammo refill stations about. So um, I guess they're all on this side kind of. It's interesting. I would have liked to see that come to um, fruition and be able to see what that fight was actually going to be like. I wonder why they ended up scrapping it. Regardless, um, we're still doing all right. Could have definitely influenced my opinion on the DLC if it had a second uh, raid boss as well. Alright, so we're obviously going to kill Piston before too long. Which will be good. But right now, we have to go kill more than Rack. So that kind of sucks. It's a good automatic gate though. Ah, oh, fly through the gap. Don't fly straight up there. Come back around here. Only four more of those things to kill, I think. Genetic research in the over enthusiastic mechanic is panicking over nothing, my dear friend. If you return the sex to me, I shall be engaging in any Frankensteinian genetic manipulation. Such hobbies lay exclusively within the purview of Dr. Z. Oh, stop talking like a douche. Stop talking like a douche makes me laugh. Okay. So, got a little bit more ammo there, which is good. Ah, oh, that was not enough ammo to kill that guy. Or enough time, either. Hmm. Did any of the ones I killed in here drop any ammo? Almost assuredly not. Is there any ammo in here? Because that would be cool. 
Of course there's not. Why would there be? That would be too damn logical. Especially for this DLC. Okay. So. Gonna go get a little bit more ammo. And then I'm gonna come back and finish this quest. Or maybe I could just do it with this. Come here, you little thing. Maybe this is what I should have been doing the whole time. No, because they're hurting it pretty bad. Okay, cool. Done did it. Okay, so that's good. Return to Moxie, that's the next thing we have to do. We can hand in a couple quests once we get there, and it will be all good. <laughs> Broccoli does taste like butt. Okay. Time to go for the number two ranking, sugar. So we got the kitten, the two and we have this other quest. Head to the forge and take him down. Scooter should be right up here. That's right. Okay, so we still have a few more to do here, and we have to... Um, do this one quest where we find all the interview tapes as well, so might as well do that. Oh, also we're going to have to do the stupid, uh, go back in to the arena quest, so we'll do that real quick. It'll be good to get this done, I guess. Just so your weak ass knows, Indeed. I'm the one who locked the forge. Not because I'm worried about you ranking up. I could take your stone with but one well time squat thrust. You're near the security box. Great. Now you can get into the forge, take down Flyboy, and become the number two badass. Cool. So that quest is done. Always good to get things done. This is Flyboy with a message for that ball hunting noob sauce. I am the future. You ball hunters are old noobs. I'm the new hotness. Don't be jelly, you brook. I'm just gonna K you race. Alright, so now I wanna do this quest and we can see that there's some places where we need to place all of those, so just turned 16, so naturally he thinks he's invincible. You're gonna prove otherwise, sugar. Here's one of the things, which is good. Damn straight. Alright. So, now... We gotta turn the car around a little bit. Make it up here. And collect these next few echoes. Might be some guys that want to fight right here. But maybe not. Captain Flint? The king of the 
rivers? He was, until he met the Vault Hunter. Sugar, my Vault Hunter has laughed at Handsome Jack, defeated the Bloodshots, killed Cairo Pete, and single-handedly defeated more of Pandora's horrors than everyone else in this tournament put There's together. There's one at the end of this? Has a chance of surviving this tournament. Interesting. Of surviving life on this planet. It's them. Huh. <sighs> Huh, I'll get that one when we go to the forge, I guess. So I know where the other two are. Um, I think we need to go up this way, though, to get there. Alright, so now... Right over here, we'll be able to find this one, like, weird little, I don't know, parkour gym or some shit. Just pathway. And it's not very difficult, but you run up it and you find, eventually, a uh, red chest and the echo. No enemies, if I recall correctly, but that's okay. Hey, ladder. Ladder. Come on. Thank you. you Got to jump right there in order to make it across. So, now we've got this. And the echo. to the other gladiators in the tournament. Just one teeny tiny message. Motor Mama, Flyboy, Piston, if you have any desire to survive this tournament, you'll listen to my message very carefully. And that message is? Run. Okay. So, the next one's very near to here, and we'll pick it up, and then we'll go over to the forge. Hopefully these guys don't blow up my vehicle. Perfect. Just a few more guys to take out here. And then we can go to the forge. Put your head over here, fool. Oh, you fuck. Oh, this makes me so mad. I wish Moxie would have actually opened a new Underdome. They'll probably keep grabbing loot and killing stuff. You know, the usual. So, it would have been nice if they actually did that, but they didn't, so that's a real shame. You may have made it to the forge, but that's seriously numb nuts. Just quit. Neat. So, there's a lot of things we have to do in here. Um... Let's see. I think I'm going to end the episode right here, actually. We made good progress. We did all of the Southern Raceway stuff. In the next episode, we'll do all of the Forge stuff. Maybe kill... Um, maybe kill some things as well. So, we'll see. 
Um, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. I'd appreciate that. Otherwise, I do hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.